like we built the brand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it can't happen. We are culture. Nothing moves without us. Ha! <sighs> Bowling is in the air. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. Which means that the tailgate's around. Yes. Uh, UVA all day. Oh, my brother, what is up? Uh -oh. As always. Yes. Pablo what? Picante, Rudy Feliciano. Yes, Sicario, Julio Hernandez. Hernandez. Special guest today with us from the Mark. Pocket Kings. Colinari. Mark Colinari is oh, in say, the oh, building. I said it in Spanish, I'm sorry. Colinari, right? <laughs> okay. All right, Colinari. Yes, sir. That's we my guy right there. I, I mess with him, but... I like the style of bowling. <laughs> and if he's on the show, that means that we're at New Jersey Busy. Northwest. Yes. Oh, we the had hardest to division. Down. Absolutely. We're at Strathmore Lanes today. Yes. We are. Absolutely. <laughs> on today's show, uh, uh, today's show. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the matchups that we got coming up. Yes. We're gonna go around the UBA. The South finally got uh, got back to some action after. Oh, you mean snow the interest snow didn't stop them? Yeah, the, the interest snow didn't <laughs> stop them this time. They got some action. Then. <laughs> Oh, God, also, we're going to have some uh, WCS uh, title matches in the South as well. Yes. I want to know who's going to Mega Bowl to face the North champion. I got a new favorite in the Vixens. I got to uh, say that. I got a we'll, new favorite. We'll talk about that later. Yes. Also, we're going to have Gordon unveiling that new top 50 list that everyone loves yes. so much. And we, get, Unholy. and we get all the flack. And, and, and Mark's going to stick around with us, and we're going to play a little game that uh, Gordon calls pineapple. pineapple. I'm scared and uncomfortable about it. But, unfortunately, they paid me to pee in the seat and, and, and talk about I it. I always thought it was a safe word. I did, too. That's why I feel so uncomfortable. Pineapple. Yes. <laughs> Mark, how you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good today. Yeah? Uh, you guys have a good matchup going against Dead Flush today. This is position week, so we, so we know. So one versus two, three versus four. Yes. On down the line. Yes. You guys draw Dead Flush. Uh, how confident are you today? Um, I know from going from our last match, they they beat us at uh, Lodi. Um, okay. Hello. It was a pretty good match, but uh, they beat us. Um, I come in every match the same. Uh, if you knock down the most pins, most of the time you're gonna win. Right. Um, can't really worry about your opponent. You got to bowl yourself. Fast. And if you bowl well and you lose, then you can't really say anything. If you're um, sixty feet of distance, you have a chance. You're right. I, so, I, I, I got a question. I've noticed since you had longer hair before. I did. Since you cut your hair, you've been shooting 800s all over the place. I've been striking a little bit, yeah. Do, do we expect a, a culinary 800 here? I don't know. I haven't bowled here in a year, but uh, that doesn't okay. that doesn't scare me. I don't care where I bowl. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm, I've been throwing the ball well lately, so I go in any place I, I step into with some confidence. So. All right. Let's, let's, let's jump he into this. He comes in with his head up. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's jump into this because we got the, the huge matchup today. Yes. Uh, if you saw the last show, we had Derek Smith on from Murder, Inc. Mm -hmm. yep. Talking about the, the loss that they had against Garden Foundation. DGF. DGF, they, they, they really uh, they beat them 34-6 to six last time out. Yep. And now, position week, they get the rematch. That's yes. why we are here. Yes. Um, it's probably one of the most talked about matches. Yeah. I mean, he, 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 Derek Smith came on the show. He sent the message to DGF. They said they were going to come back. And I just, does. I want to know if he rallies the troop. If they deliver, I want to know what back-to-back -back losses are going to mean for Murder 8 on here. Very true. Yeah. Very and true. also, I want your take because your team is in third place right now. Yes, so, you are. So you're watching very closely Absolutely. to see what happens. What are your thoughts? What do you think is going to happen in that matchup? Well, from our team's perspective, we're hoping that uh, I believe uh, Murder, Inc. is in second. Or, uh, Murder, Murder, Inc. First. is first. Mur right, Murder, Inc. is first. first. DG we're hoping that DGF loses a lot and we gain some ground on them. But okay. um, from a spectator's perspective, that's a great match to battle the two best teams in our yeah. division. Um, they put out a ton of great bowlers every stop, uh, and it comes down to who taps first, really, because you know they're going to throw a lot of strikes. Yeah. You got to hear a lot of noise from them, both of them. <laughs> both of them. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a, it's a great match. It can go either way. I mean, obviously, Murder Inc. unfortunately lost pretty bad the last match, um, yeah. but that doesn't mean they're out of it. No. They're going to put out a strong lineup, and they're I think I think they're going to have a good showing, uh, good showing today. I, I don't think uh, either team's necessarily going to get blown out today, okay. but. Um, I think it's gonna it's gonna come down to the last game, and you're gonna hear a lot of noise from that that matchup. Nice. I, I know, I know, Rudy. You got a lot of history with GZF. You know these guys pretty well. We got from what I've seen, on me, bro. Right. That last from what I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, I'm not gonna forget a, that. That's you a long a story, folks. You owe me a drink. Uh, I was even on the pair. <laughs> uh, from what I've seen, 
recently with DGF and especially now after beating Murder Inc. the way they did, this looks like the DGF of old. The team that's looking to make another run at that Wilder Cup. What are, what are your thoughts on this? DGF is definitely the OGs. Um, I really like to see the the spark come back up because a lot of people counted them out. Yeah. So, you know, it just makes the division harder again. So in this matchup, who do you think wins? I'm going to go with DGF. Okay. I have to go with DGF. As much okay. as... Mac, you owe me a drink, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> you owe me a drink. I stood that over see, it. I, I stood that over So Mark, Mark, Mark says it's too close to call. He's going DGF, and I'm going to completely swing the pendulum. Derek Smith convinced me. Spell it. P-E-N-D-U-L-U-M. <laughs> pendulum. Pendulum. Right. That with means, that means R-U-M. this. So, with that being said, um, Derek definitely convinced me when he sent that message out. Uh, I don't see them losing back to back against DGF. Ooh. I know it's going to be a tough matchup. Yeah. Uh, but I do think that Murder Inc. will bounce back, and I think that they'll get the win here uh, oh, and, and, and get a little ground in first place. Okay. So now let's go. Mark, let, I want to get a whole feel of your whole division. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'll basically, how many teams is in your division? 12? They have. I honestly don't know. 10. A 10, that sounds Okay, that sounds 10. 10 being the bottom, 1 being the top. How, how do you see it? Which way you will lay it out? Who's Team 10 no matter what? Team 10 DIY. Really? Wow. wow. Okay. They didn't take a single <laughs> point from us. Oh, that's because you did 40 pieces. You did 40 pieces. Okay. So we're pieces. the only 40 pieces in the division. This is true. That is true. Yeah. You know, yeah, we had a lot of nuggets on that thing. <laughs> so we had a lot of nuggets. He's, he's saying that they're 10 based on their performance against... Pocket cake. <laughs> so, I, I was in the parking lot taking my stuff out of the car. Yeah. And one of the team members, they got me feeling some type of way because they were talking to someone else and said, how good is Pocket Kings? How do you think they're going to bowl today? Mm. Oh. Mm. So they're still checking on you. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. So who will be team number nine? Let's see. We got the notes. That's you got top one. guns. You got dead flush. You got takeover. Exit wounds. America's Most Wanted. I'd probably say America's Most Wanted. Oh. Mm. They are ninth. They are in ninth place right now. They're in ninth. Yeah. I mean, they've got some. They've got. They've got Darian Lemay. Yeah, that's. Uh, I love Darian, really my guy, guy though. Yeah, he's good I can't. I, I can't talk bad about Darian, but yeah. the team not doing well. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's, they all have their moments. Let's do it this way. I don't want you to pick your matchup against Pocket Kings and Death Flush. Yeah. That's yeah. that's because that's pretty your obvious. Against Pocket Kings. I'm sorry. Po- uh, your team, your team. Pocket yeah. Kings, against. Dead, Dead flush. I'll guarantee uh, you if it's a match between his team and Pocket King, Pocket King will win. Probably. I think so. Yeah. Especially if I'm bowling. So. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, who you got in this matchup, Rudy? Uh, I'm actually going to have to go with Pocket Kings. You're going to go with Pocket Kings? I really like them. I, I, okay. I may talk about them, but I like them. I'd say this. Dead flush, you had James Fitz come off shooting uh, 800 at the last tour stop as well. Yeah, but this is Strathmore. Uh, this is, this is Strathmore. I, I think that shot. Pocket Kings will edge out a win as well. I think this yeah. will be pretty close. Facts. Uh, the five six team, your your favorite squad, DIY, do it yourself. <laughs> They're going up against the Top Guns today. That's a rematch again, isn't it? So I think so. Should, yes, this is yeah. also a rematch where where DIY beat them twenty four to sixteen. Wow. Uh, so Chris Shank and Trip, uh, Christopher Garrett and the boys. Um, uh oh, is that a is that a Chris Shank? <laughs> See Chris Shank now. He's he's flexing on us. He's flexing on us. He's flexing on us right now. <laughs> we still got another number. I don't know if you noticed the eyes been happening but while we're here. I'll say this. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of top, top, top Guns right now. They're three on three on tour. So is DIY. Top Guns needs a win here to kind of stay in the playoff push to play to stay in the playoff hunt. I don't know. Top uh, Guns. They, they, oh, it's another team that looks like the Mets. They're great on paper. Yeah. Horrible on the lanes. <laughs> I, 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 what do you think here, Mark? What do you think? I got a lot of friends on Top Guns. I know, I got a lot of friends. They're all, they're all nice people. They're great people. He's, just, he's not going to give you an answer. He's not going to give us an answer here. He is, he's he is going to be politically correct. Switzerland right now, just completely neutral. Yeah. I am, I am going with DIY. I think yeah. they'll get a second win here. I um, think so too. That's a team. That's a that's a new team in the UBA. They're making noise. But they're making waves. They're making waves. Absolutely. Uh, Even though no, they did nobody, get forty back. Nobody saw them in sixth place. They did get uh, forty mm-hmm. piece by these guys here. So and they were still able to make it. Uh, I'm not going to We did, we did take forty, but we, it wasn't easy. We had to ball. We did have to ball. Yeah. We had to ball every game. Uh, but. <laughs> So so they, so they're a scrappy bunch DIY. I think they win this matchup. Yeah. You got another matchup here. This is a good one too on paper. Takeover taking on Exit Wounds. Um everybody by now knows 
uh, the struggle that Eggs and Wounds is going through right now. Yeah. They're sitting right now in eighth place. Which that team should never be there. And and it's just something that, you know, it's 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 one um, of those, it's like a, a, a what's the word? Uh, they don't have the, it's an anomaly. Yeah, no. There you go. Uh, Let's use the word. word. Right. Just the hey, word. I studied for the SATs. I'm just seeing people <laughs> who's coming in. Yeah. And I don't see much of their hitters. No, I didn't see. Uh, I don't see uh, I mean, if Chris Aponte is in the building. Chris Aponte is not in the building. But this is supposed to be Chris Aponte versus Tiffany Smalls. Definitely, <laughs> which would have been definitely. a good one. It's a Titanic um, sequence. Sh- yeah, but here's I the thing. Say, wait, I just read Gordon's notes. What does the note say? <laughs> Exit wounds. Titanic. Oh, no, boy. No, no brain is still No, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I see that. Takeover oh. just took a loss against the last place Reaper Crew, though, in the last stop. Reaper Crew so, is not doing good. Okay, that may be. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot, I forgot about them. Reaper Crew is yeah. definitely number We're gonna 10. We're going to have to do yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Reaper Crew is number 10. Reaper Crew is 10. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do it this. Takeover started really hot. They were 3 and 1 to start off, and they've just been trending in the wrong direction since. I think it's Papi Chulo, uh, Papi Chulo's hair um, design. Yeah, I mean, this, is, this, this is one of the <laughs> tips. <laughs> this, is, this is must win for either <laughs> team right now. I agree. Uh, Especially if they want to, they still have a season to go, but if they want to find themselves in the playoff push, but, oh boy. Again? <laughs> I think Gordon has some words for the takeover. He's going to have to. He talk says, about since day that. they left you guys, uh, y'all not taking over. <laughs> let, me say, let, me, let, me, let me say this. I think for both these teams, the season definitely hangs in the balance. Who you got? Who? Takeover versus Exit Wounds. I'm not going to make a comment on that one. Okay. I, got, I, I don't expect I love to make a comment. comment but I, I exit 100%. Exit 100%. <laughs> he made a co- he made a choice. So we got him off the schneid. I, I, okay. You don't want to play neutral guy here. I don't want to play neutral, but I think what I'm going to say is very offensive. Okay. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to say Exit One is going to wake up and DTO is just going to be DT out of it. Oh, Okay. That's a that's a that's a fair shake. I don't see. I, I, I just think, I think this is one Mom, that's gonna be unanimous. Sis, sis, Pam, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Shout out, Pam Green. Yeah, Pam Green. I, I, I love, love Pam you, Green. Sis. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree. Uh, this one be unanimous. I think that Exit Wounds will be a team that uh, can 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 eke out a win here because they just absolutely need it. They need some Don't type of spark to get them to a playoff push. Um, it's just a team that you really didn't see a team like DIY over them. You didn't see, and that's no disrespect to DIY. I think they're doing phenomenal DIY. this year. <laughs> DIY. You know that. now? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but it just, I just, you know, even take over, just no disrespect. I just, you don't ever no, no, see this exit wounds show. This down is this far. This is what it also, is. Also, you got to have thick skin. Absolutely. You know, to be in this, how many years you been in the UBA? Long enough. You've been uh, here really long. No, You're not, not that long. About no. four or five years? About four, yeah. About four years? Four years. You're OG right now. Yeah. A lot of people are still coming in. Yeah. Um, we're still growing. You were, well, when it was about a low 200 to probably 190-something teams, you guys came in. So you have to have thick skin yeah. to be in the UBA. Absolutely. Because everything's going to come at you either which way. You could be number one, you got eyes on you. You could be the bottom, you got eyes on you. Fact. You know, it's just Everyone's that's how watching. it is. Everyone's yes. watching. Speaking of the bottom, uh, <laughs> we got the last match up here of the day, which is America's Most Wanted. Right. Uh, they're going up against against the Reaper Crew. I'm gonna go America's Most Wanted. Okay. Yeah, I, I gotta agree. Reaper Crew has uh, they started off pretty bad. We we took a lot of points from them for, at Parkway. Yeah. And I don't think they ever really recovered. And at well, Parkway, Reaper, nobody Reaper, should go back. Reaper Crew is coming off like that. <laughs> uh, Reaper Crew just beat the Takeover 30-46, so they have a little momentum here. No. Um, but there's only one point separating America's no. Most Wanted from Reaper Crew. No. Uh, oh. So I'm saying I'm assuming you're going America's Most Wanted. America's Most Wanted. I think the same thing. I think America's Most Wanted has some talent. Uh, there, they probably just haven't performed to the expectations. That's true, uh, but I still think they have enough talent to beat uh, to beat Reaper. Reaper. I, I agree with that. I think that's a simple one. That that wraps up what we got going on here. Um, are we switching gears now? Yeah. So, so Mark Colinari. Wait, am I saying that right? Because I'm Spanish in me, and it's just like not Colinari. 
culinary. It's culinary? not. It's not food. It's not no, calamari. It's a, no, it is a culinary. You almost said Mark Calamari. No, <laughs> you almost just called him Mark listen, Calamari. I, if I just close my house, if we translate like that, you. that's Mark Squid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not the I don't first think time. they. We didn't listen. We didn't bring him on the show to call him Squid. Definitely. Never that. But All right. Thank you for sitting with us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Will you come back on for pineapple? I absolutely will. Absolutely. Absolutely.